right over here, this would be the internal hub of the spiraling cochlea. So this is where you have the structure called the medialis. And we're going to find the spiral ganglia within the medialis. Right over here, we have the cochlear duct. The cochlear duct is going to contain endolymph. Here we have the vestibular duct. The vestibular duct contains perilymph. Down over here, we have the tympanic duct. The tympanic duct is confluent with the vestibular duct at the tip of the cochlea. And the tympanic duct also contains perilymph. Let's take a closer look at the cochlear duct. Notice that it is separated from the vestibular duct over here by this relatively thin membrane, the vestibular membrane. When a pressure wave is created in the fluid of the vestibular duct, it readily goes right through this thin membrane into the fluid and affects the fluid of the cochlear duct. Now this structure over here is the organ of corti. This is the organ that is responsible for transducing a pressure wave that's created inside the cochlear duct into electrical impulses that we interpret as hearing. Notice that it's resting on a sturdier membrane which is separating the cochlear duct from the tympanic duct which is down over here and this membrane is called the basilar membrane. This roof-like projection is referred to as the tectorial membrane. These cells are the inner hair cells and then you see you have three rows of cells also hair cells and these cells are referred to as the outer hair cells. When a vibration occurs, it causes a differential displacement of these cells in relationship to this tectorial membrane, and that is what is responsible for creating an electrical impulse in these cells. So these cells are the transducers, which are going to change the vibration of the fluid into electrical impulses that are going to be carried by nerves to the brain. So these yellow lines which you see here represent neurons which are responsible for picking up the impulses that are generated in these hair cells as a result of the pressure waves which travel through the fluid. These sensory neurons are then going to travel medially along the basilar membrane and they're going towards the medialis and here you can see the cell bodies of these sensory neurons right over here. And you can see how the cell bodies are aggregated in this location to form a ganglion. So this is a ganglion and because it represents a continual string of ganglions that spiral within the spiraling cochlea, this is called the spiral ganglion processes of these cells leave at the base of the medialis as the cochlear nerve.